I'm sure you remember when this 2-liter pot bottle mosquito trap went viral on every channel of the internet. Finally, a solution to those pesky little vampires that we all deal with every summer. According to the tutorial, all you need for a mosquito genocide is a 2-liter bottle, cut in half with one half inverted, some brown sugar and some yeast. This contraption is supposed to bring mosquitoes in from miles around to happily dive into the sugar water and die. There's just one problem, it doesn't work. I'm not alone in my disappointment. Rooting through the comment sections of sites that have published this mosquito trap unearths numerous reports of the same thing. I think this trap is a dud, but I'm not giving up the search for a good mosquito trap. In fact I have two good DIY traps and some really effective commercial ones to show you. Trap 1. Trick mosquitoes into drowning themselves. Mosquitoes lay their eggs in stagnant water, but if the water has detergent added to it, the water has no surface tension for the mosquitoes to stand on. So instead of laying their eggs, they drown. Just take a bucket, add a little bit of water, and add a few drops of liquid detergent. To attract more mosquitoes to the trap, aim a light at the water. Here you see an example of this mosquito trap working well. Trap 2. Overpower mosquitoes tiny wings with a high velocity fan. One of our readers gave a glowing recommendation on a method that works similar to a spider web. If that spider web were powered by rocket fuel. This pile of mosquitoes was captured by Andy Ross from Green Power Science in a single night with one mosquito trap. The trap works by moving an enormous quantity of air through a fine wire mesh. The mesh is impregnated with isopropyl alcohol rubbing alcohol, to make sure the mosquitoes are good and dead. You can try the mosquito catcher out using a normal home box fan, but to really have an effective trap you should go for a high velocity fan. The top recommended fan for these types of traps is the Max Air 24 inches portable. It will move 4000 cubic feet per minute. That's compared to your ordinary Lasco box fans which move about 2000. The mesh is harder to find, it needs to be fine enough that mosquitoes can't fit through it. Ordinary hardware cloth won't work. In a pinch you can just secure ordinary mosquito netting which is cheap and easy to find. 3. A fan trap that takes up less space, Dyna traps. Some people in the comments are endorsing the mosquito traps from Dyna trap which use a fan just like the previous trap, and also a black light which attracts the mosquitoes from a wide area. Here is what the half acre trap can do in two weeks. That's tens of thousands of mosquitoes that are not sucking blood from anyone anytime soon. The traps don't require you to buy a mosquito attractant, but they do need an AC outlet for the fan and black light. They end up using a lot less power than the high velocity fan traps. If you tried any of the traps on this video, or know of any others that have worked, let us know how they worked for you in the comments section. We hope this video helps you win the war against mosquitoes.